good morning everybody uh, it is still October 14th it's a cool wet damp drizzly foggy half rainy type of day and uh, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do any videoing with this uh, disc Carol that we've been running from Schulte but if you see this video they allowed me to put it up <laughs> oh man we're gonna do about two videos and uh, We'll check to see if they'll allow us to put it up or not. So if it's up, then that means we were allowed to do so. So anyways, Donovan was heroin. And uh, he was basically, as you can tell, he went where thou shalt not go. Right, Donovan? He's not. You went where thou shalt not go. You. Say what? You. You did. Not you. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I came down with the 1167 right here. Of course, it has to be on our furthest field. So here's a pass that he was heroin over here. And we already mowed the cattails. So we mowed the cattails where we thought it was dry. Obviously, Will was the guy running the Schulte mower that we rented and uh, he got stuck. Oh, I don't know, gosh, I don't know like five or six or seven times up here. Nothing in this slough. And I told him, don't mow where there's water because we're gonna get something else stuck. <laughs> anyways, that's the result of mowing where we can't mow. But uh, anyways, anyways, back at it here. We're just waiting for a toe strap and we're gonna hopefully uh, pop this thing out. So this is a disc harrow. Hence those waffle discs. They don't work super awesome if you're working with hard dry ground. So this would not be a South Farm type of harrow. Not that we harrow anything down there. We do not have enough organic matter to worry about harrowing. But anyways, if you were, I wouldn't think, because we ran this thing uh, prior to all the rain that we got here and they didn't go into the ground very good. But once the rain rained, then it's doing a good job. So if you're wondering why the harrow angle is straight up and down, it's because we or Donovan actually tried to lift up and he was gonna try and we see if we couldn't get out that way and that was unsuccessful. So we just put everything back down, take some weight off here and I see that I'm taking a phone call. There we go, sorry about that. So this is one of their uh, disc carols that, I'm not sure if this is the original what year this is but they've done a lot of tinkering and uh, and uh, modifying I guess you can say so this is their prototype Harrow which we all had the sign NDAs for so I guess feels odd doing a video <laughs> what yeah Donovan's like this feels odd he had a sign too so but like I said if it's up we got permission to do so Got one bent tying right here. I don't know how that happened, but I don't know if that was us because this thing's been around the block a few times. Got these little wheels right here. So when you're running up on a ditch, and again, what you see on here does not mean that this is what is on their production machines, okay? I'm pretty sure something about that wheel is not, like the wheel is there, but different design. Again, this is their machine that they just kind of, you know, try on air with. So. Anyways, we are waiting for Will to get here with a toe strap. I completely forgot that this tractor actually has to go to the dealership and they got to remove the track and wheel because my weights, the bolts were breaking this spring. Right here, we got one back in. Might be, we're missing one. Are we missing this one? Yeah. Oh, that one's there. One of these ones we're missing. 
And in order to actually tap them out properly, we gotta pull the track and stuff off. So, we, believe me, guys, we have bolts in there. This is just for a little extra, extra. You know, I like it. Gives it character. <laughs> All right, so we got the strap here. I guess we brought the small strap, which isn't awesome. It looks like a pretty good size strap, but. It's not the big strap. This is what we call the little one. The big one would be from here out to here. Be another half this size again. Anyways, we got this thing all turnbuckled. We don't have our actual turnbuckle, so we wrap the whole pile of chain on. Don't worry, that won't go anywhere. We'll snap this. We'll snap this buckle. Buckle. Strap. Hopefully we don't though, but it would be the first thing to go. I guess we need the big strap. I told you that chain wouldn't go anywhere. Sorry, I'm just eating. But the strap left the buckle. Almost had it. Almost had it, not really. I knew we should have brought the big strap. All right. I know this cable's getting off. Oh, did we drive over that cable? Oh no, no, oh, no, we're good. The cable's actually back there, so that's good. It'll, it'll pop right out. All right, we gotta go back for a new cable. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, why is Will doing this? That's what I want to know. It should be Donovan. Anyways, there's our strap difference here. And uh, obviously the buckle is quite a bit bigger. Right there. So this is the same strap that we can put on the loaded air drill. It's 84 feet and that cart back there is 1300 bushels of fertilizer and seed. And we can jerk it. So if we break the strap on this, we're gonna pull that tractor in half. <laughs> No, no, it can happen because straps can get weak after a while. But uh, no, we're gonna pop this thing out. So are you rolling that strap because you're the new guy, or because Donovan is? Well, I guess Donovan can roll the big one. We did find the buckle though. We actually found our buckle, so uh, now we're ready to pull. Hey, Will is rolling the strap for the last two weeks. He got stuck 13 times. So finally, he's doing a roller shame for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> 13 oh. times that no seems fun, is that exaggerated or I mean, he was running the Schulte mower and uh, he's the one who mowed this well You're not supposed to mow a slough That's too muddy. Hey, he got stuck right over there. <laughs> oh My guy. goodness because this is what happens. We think it's dry and then boom bang chalaka. It's bad news bears oh, Yeah, we're gonna blame you. You're the new guy. We're blaming you will <laughs> <laughs> Okay
We got unhooked. We got unhooked. We got unhooked and we'll just get the tractor out and then we'll come back for the Harrow. Well, we'll do a little walk around here. Yeah, we're suctioned right in. That's the downside to wheels is uh, they do go down. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Don't worry, guys. You'll come out. Go come out. She'll come out. So there's water. And there's our safety chain somewhere down there. Might be able to reach it. Actually no, maybe. Should be a little pin. Should be a little pin right there. Just pop it. Yes, yes, well it is. It's wet. Uh, what are the odds that all this is going to come out? Oh, that's solid. Well, which way do we got to go? Back. This is the reason why we did not unhook right away, if you guys are wondering. Why didn't you just unhook right away? Because it's not always as easy getting unhooked in the mud. I'll try to back it up a bit. Oh, you, oh you're going to back up? Uh, I only need a metric millimeter, man. Okay, I'll try to pop the pin. I remember just seeing it. Yes. Harrow and cattails, they said, Will. Harrow and cattails. <laughs> Nothing happening. Try back up a bit. There it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Will, you want to jerk on that? Yep, back up. There it is! Woohoo! Okay, okay, we got it. Now we just got to dig this safety chain out. Oh, the safety chain? No, we got to unhook the safety chain first. So just that's a problem. Yeah, hold the horses. I don't want to lose my fingy fingies. Guys, there's a there's a loop at the bottom of this hitch where the safety chain goes through. So we're gonna have to start digging. Yeah, we just took the end off. Beauty. We can put that on back on later. Oh yeah. Here. Here, you take those wheels. Don't want to lose anything here. Okay, we are fully unhooked. Let's get this tractor out. Before it sinks down the china anymore. Oh yeah.
Oh yeah. I zoomed in on you while you were digging. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, why, yeah, I would hope the 724 popped out easier. Okay, who's going back for the hair? You want to tie up that cable? Wow. Ah. Oh. Someone's going to be doing some fire hose washing. <laughs> okay, now we're going to hook that cable on. In a perfect world, would clevis right to the hitch. Non-perfect world, we have to do what we do with the air drill and we'll clevis to the safety chain. And we'll drag this harrow out, in theory. Okay, we're gonna get this tractor out of the way. I'm the one with the 1167. I'm gonna back up. We're gonna grab this, uh, Disc carol. Guess I'm on the strap here. All right, let's go hook this thing up. On the bottom. I don't think it'll work. It's too thick. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to do what we do with the air drills. Unfortunately, that chain is not as heavy we as the one. We can't pull in that. I don't know if you want to wrap the strap around here like that. It's too risky. Yeah, we'll tear that strap. To a new one. Uh, well, let's use that safety chain and... Uh, it's going to rip off. There's not even a hesitation. That thing is... That's aluminum. No, it's not. It's just... It's grade 8. This is grade it's 8 not chain. Oh, no, that's good. No, that's great, eight. I still gonna rip off. Well, let's be optimistic about it because that's about all of our options. Going backwards really isn't a good option. Still muddy back there. Yeah, we can't pull it back. We're just about out here. These wheels, as soon as they pop up, because they were they're down there pretty deep. There's water in the other one. Yeah, I know. I think it's gonna come. I think it's gonna come. All right, so we got finally got all hooked up here. Um, we had to come back here, back to two track up, pick some weight off this hitch so we can slide our chains under. Normally, we just use one big safety chain. And then sometimes we'll double wrap it depending on how stuck that drill is. Uh, this thing is not near, it's not near the weight of the drill, but we used all the chains and safety chains and brought down extra chains and we've got, it looks a little ranchy, but it will do the job. Because the worst thing that could have happen is have that buckle coming back through the window at about 300 miles an hour because that's happened to us before. It's been, I remember I told you guys that uh, all three of us brothers nearly died from a bad stuck so with a bad experience with chain so we use a lot more chain than uh, what we even need the biggest thing for us was to make sure all this chain pulled together the same so we had to pull it wrap the chain pull it wrap the chain make sure they all pulled uh the same and so we actually only have about two chains doing most of the pulling the other chain is a safety chain okay now that we know that let's get going He's struggling.
Okay, now he's getting serious. <laughs> I don't think that thing is gonna move. Hey, he actually moved it a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> he did it again. Oh, he's got him. First try. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Told you this would work. It's not. I don't trust one chain. Barely trust two chains. But you put a lot of chains around her, she'll hold. Yep. Well, on the upside, Cholty, um, obviously you've already seen this video. Your uh, your disc carol is built pretty good. I have to admit, uh, we didn't tear anything apart. We didn't stretch anything. We didn't leave any green in the slough. I'd say that's success. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, we're gonna let you go. Donovan's gonna do the wrap of shame. Wrap. Roll the sh roll of shame. And uh, we're gonna get back to actually heroin. Now that we spent blue four or five hours here trying to get this thing out. So I'll catch you on the flipper. Adios, amigos.